welcome to part two of this week's Friday Sews. So if you don't know, Friday Sews is a hashtag that was invented by the lovely Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room. And it's just a chance to have a little chatty catch up on um, what we've been doing in the week and maybe some imminent plans. And that's what's in store in this video. So if you're interested, please keep watching. <laughs> Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name's Laura and I'm the Carpe DM Stitcher. So as I mentioned in my intro a minute ago, this is part two of this week's Friday Sews. So I filmed a section about um, my plans to make some shirt dresses with um, a little bit of a chat about which patterns I'm looking at and also um, a bit of a fabric haul specifically for shirt dresses. But I also wanted to fill you in a little bit on what I've been up to in terms of um, planning some of the sewing in the last couple of weeks. And I've made a few other purchases which are nothing to do with shirt dresses. And I wanted to um, talk a little bit about what my sewing plans are for this weekend. So I thought I'd split the two up. Uh, so I'll put a link to part one down below so you can go and watch that if you'd like to and you haven't already. But let's get started with um, this part. Um, and just to mention that um, there's a music festival going on about a mile down the road. So um, if you hear kind of odd strains of music and drum beats creeping in over the sound, um, I'm sorry about that. It's um, it's going on all weekend. So there's no way around it, really, unless I film at about three o'clock in the morning. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry if that interferes with the sound quality a little bit today. So let's get started. So in terms of, um, I think when I filmed my last video, I was just about to go off to um, go on holiday and I was talking to you about um, trying to take my sewing machine in a tent, which obviously I wasn't going to do. And we went off to um, France and we stayed near Cherbourg and it was um, really nice and we didn't get any rain at all, which was great. And we had a little wander around Cherbourg and I did manage to find a fabric shop um, but when I had a look round it it was lovely but it didn't have anything that I couldn't have bought in the UK so I decided that I wasn't going to buy anything um, but we did manage to find a cafe called Carpe Diem so I'll pop a picture in of the sign um, the original photo did have me on it but it was such a terrible photo that I edited me back off um, but yeah we found this cafe called Carpe Diem so clearly had to take a picture but it was shut so we couldn't eat in it um, but I did manage right on the very last day just before we got the ferry back um, we went off to um, a kind of village called um, Bar Fleur which was a bit further down the coast from where we were in Cherbourg and we went down there and just had a bit of a wander around and had some lunch and I went into shop thinking that it was a souvenir shop and in part it was a souvenir shop but it was also a craft shop and I found some French dress labels so I had to get some didn't I so I'll save what I think is the best one till last um, so the first one I got is actually not for sewing it's for knitting don't know if you can see that. Come on, camera, focus, 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 focus. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that's okay. It says tricote main, which is hand knitted, and then on the back it's just got this little ball of wool. So I just thought it was really cute. So I got a couple of those. And then I got this one, which says Fait avec tendresse, so made with love. So I thought that was quite sweet as well. And then this one, which was actually the one I saw first, and um, I really, really liked it. This was, this was the thing that made me think I've got to go off and buy these, is just this really cute one. 
that's got little fairy with wings and it just says fait par une fille made by a fairy and I just thought they were so sweet so I got a few of those and I got some for me and some for a friend um, and I just think they're really sweet and I'm looking forward to putting them in my garments so actually just put a call out there if any of you are watching in Germany or anywhere that is German speaking and you know of anywhere that I could buy online um, the equivalent type of thing in German please could you pop it in the comments down below because I am I speak a bit of French but I haven't actually done it really since I was at school but my German's actually much better um, so I would really like it if I could get some um, German labels as well that would be absolutely great so if you know of anywhere that stocks them I've looked online but generally when I do a search on German dress labels I find places that will print them for you but not ones that actually are from Germany or a German speaking country and have you know the cute little logos and things but with German um, wording so if you know of anywhere please let me know long shot but yeah be great if I can get some that would be lovely thank you so that was the first thing that I got in France and then after that we um, drove off to a supermarket because we decided that we were going to um, take some food to eat on the ferry because it was quite a long journey back so we ended up making sandwiches in the car park so that was quite fun um, but of course I had to have a look in the magazine section didn't I and I found this which is basically um, a Burda knitting book in French and what sold it to me was actually the sweater on the front cover because I just think that's great and it will knit up in no time and um, basically depending what colour you do it in you know you could get that to go with quite a lot of different things so I thought that was really pretty um, and hopefully I'll be able to understand the pattern and for all other things there's Google Translate so I think it'll be fine and and having had a quick look it you can kind of probably work it out based on what you know about knitting and also you know the way that knitting patterns are written so just tagged a couple of other pages in here that I thought um, were really nice so you can see that one the cardigan and I just really like that kind of wavy pattern uh, not that keen on the colour but you know you can change the colour so that's fine so that was one that I really liked and the other one that really caught my attention was that one because I think my husband would really like that I have actually knitted him a sweater um, and it's actually in that colour so I wouldn't pick the same kind of colour again but he does wear it and he does quite like it so again um, I think that one would be quite good to knit and there's whole lots of other ones as well um, so yeah so I thought um, I'd give it a go why not so that was France and that was great we were only away we went on the Monday and we came back on the Saturday so it wasn't that long a break but it was really lovely and really restful um, did quite a bit of walking around places um, quite a bit of sitting outside the tent in the sun because it was it was nice and warm and it was a nice relaxing break and then I came home and I started thinking about the shirt dresses and everything and I ordered all the stuff that you've already seen but while I was ordering the um, shirt dress fabric on Pound Fabrics I also ordered a couple of other bits which I'm going to show you now because they're not actually anything to do with shirt dresses and the first thing that I got was this which is Despicable Me this is cotton so it's Despicable Me oops all over Minions cotton fabric and I got two meters of this and it was nine pounds a meter hopefully you can see that yeah so you might remember that I made my husband a Doctor Who shirt out of um, the curtain remnant and he really likes it and I think I've created a monster because he now wants minion shorts, hence the fabric. So 
I found a pattern that I think will work and I will pop a picture of it up here. But I haven't actually bought it yet because I'm waiting for um, the ability to get a discount on it. And I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, but he just wants straight, um, straight sort of pair of, pair of sort of fairly, um, what can I call it? Classic shorts, I suppose, you know, with the, um, the waist, the belt loops. He doesn't want cargo pants or anything like that. And I think I'll have to line this because it is, um, pretty thin. But yes, he wants minion shorts. So fair enough, he can have minion shorts. And then the other piece of fabric that I got from Pound Fabrics was this one which is blue and purple lightning French terry fabric. I have always wanted some lightning fabric. I just keep seeing it and really liking it and this was 8 95 for a metre so I thought I'd give it a go. I don't have any specific plans for it as yet. On the other hand I do have loads and loads and loads of sort of sweatshirty type patterns um, and I've got two meters so maybe I could even do a sweater dress I haven't really thought about it in too much detail but while I was on there I thought I'd pick it up and I just love it so um, I got that while I was at it so that's it for fabrics um, also while I was on buying the Tilda dress from Atelier Jupe I also downloaded the pattern for the Frida blouse so I'll pop a picture up here and you might remember that in my um, spring sewing plans I'd bought um, I think it was in my spring sewing plans I'd bought some fabric in a remnant sale from uh, Semi Sunshine to make the dress um, to make the blouse in but I just hadn't bought the pattern so I thought well while I'm at it I might as well um, just just buy it from the website because I had been thinking I might buy the paper pattern but it's sold out everywhere and also, I think with Atelier Jupe, the patterns are actually nested in each other um, in the paper one. So it'd be quite hard work to trace it. So I just bought the PDF one um, and had done with it. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I've got that. I'm still probably not going to make that until the autumn because the fabric that I've got for it, which I'll put a pick in, um, is quite autumnal. So I'm probably not going to make that yet, but at least I've... Um, got it and take care of it so great so that's that and then the only other things I've bought apart from interfacing which I'm really not going to show you because it's not that exciting and that's for the shirt dresses is Vogue patterns have had a half price sale so while I was picking up the interfacing from Minerva I also picked out a couple of patterns so this one I've had my eye on for a while um, this is V1665 and um, I first saw this on a pattern haul from Rachel at Stitched Up um, who'd pointed out this top which I think is beautiful this asymmetric top um, and it also reminded me I saw an interview with Olivia Coleman on television and she was wearing something that wasn't unlike this so um, and actually in not dissimilar colour so I thought yeah I really like that and also it comes with the pattern for the trousers which I quite like and pattern for the skirt which is fairly classic so I did end up in this buying the larger size bracket which I've never done before but I did it because I think even if even if I'm trying to I'm trying to lose not exactly weight but I'd quite like to lose a couple of inches off my hips um, which is why I haven't really started sewing trousers yet but even if I did I'd still fall into the higher size bracket on this particular pattern um, whereas I think for the top I would have been in the smaller one but I think I can probably just you know change the seams or something or or trace inside the line or, or whatever to do the top so I think it's fine but I thought well with the skirt and the trousers I'm not going to get away with the smaller pattern so I might as well make the bigger one so that's that one and then while I was going through looking for that, I saw this and I did buy this in the um, smaller size range because although the hips for me would fall in the bigger size range and that for me is the real nuisance with big four patterns that you can end up straddling the gap between them and I really am not going to go down the road of buying 
two patterns for the same um, garment so I'm really not going to do that but on this as hopefully you'll see on the hips they're pretty loose and I think I could probably grade out a little bit if I made that one but that one is perhaps probably the shape that I've got more patterns in anyway but what I really liked on this if I show you the line drawings you can maybe see a bit better that most of the hemlines are asymmetric and I just really like that and I like the ones where you've got the kind of double um, the double dip down the kind of triangular point and I thought that was really pretty and you know depending what fabric you make it in you can make it as smart or as casual as you like and tall order and whether I'll manage it but now um, I mentioned in the previous video that we're going to an engagement party in June and we've now been invited to a birthday party in the same family the night before. So the question is, am I going to get too many made things done in time for that? I mean, I have got some things already, so we'll see. But yeah, I picked that up because I couldn't resist it and it was half price. So really happy to have got those. So I think that's it for the spending, except for the fact that I had a whole load of PDFs printed from Fabuloso um, and I'm really chuffed because I was hoping they were going to turn up by this weekend and in fact they did, they turned up this morning. It's Friday today, I'm actually filming Friday afternoon. So that is great because the other thing I wanted to mention really quickly is that um, this weekend is the sewing weekender which is run by um, the fold line in conjunction with um, a lady called Charlotte and I have a bad feeling I've forgotten her um, her name but I'll pop it underneath um, and this is an online event so you you purchase an online ticket and it's it's less than 20 pounds and then what they do is um, on Saturday and Sunday they um, send you links that you can then access a whole lot of um, videos that you can watch um, which have got you know kind of various interesting topics I think they've got one on fitting trousers and um, also kind of catch-ups with people from the sewing community I think there's something by sew over 50 so the idea is that you sit at home and you sew and you work on whatever garment you want to work on and you can watch these videos but once you've bought the ticket the videos are there forever so that if you can't actually watch them live or you've got other commitments over the weekend you can still do that um, and the other thing you get which I think is worth the money even if you didn't watch the videos and didn't do any of the sewing is you get a discount goodie bag sort of digital goodie bag um, and so that's when I said about the pattern for the shorts for my husband I'm hoping that um, somewhere will have a discount that I will then be able to use to go and buy the shorts pattern that he wants so that's why I've held off from buying it so yeah it's a nice treat I've done it for the last two years I've done it and I think if they've done it if they've done it the same way as they've done it before they have kind of zoom chat rooms and things so you can kind of drop in so it's like sewing with people even though you can't all be in the same room. So it started like this because of COVID. I think it used to be live, but that was before I was really sewing very much. But now it's happening online this year and they give a proportion of their um, proceeds to charity. So it's really good. And for me, it's good because I think it will... I get distracted quite easily, although I love sewing, but I think it's it's really good because for me what it'll do is it'll make me set aside the time to sew and to work on the projects that I want to work on. Which I think for me is probably going to be making a start on those shirt dresses if I can get the fabric um, washed in time. Um, but I've also got a shirt that is cut out and ready to go and I'm also sewing up um, the baby clothes that I was trying to make in April and didn't, but I am making progress with those. So I've got lots of things to work on. I was going to say I'd sort of vlog intermittently and then show you that in an edited um, video next week. But because of that music festival, I suspect that's not going to happen. And I think that what I will be doing is I will be sitting watching everything like this.
so that I can hear what's going on on the computer and not the music. So if you're there and you see me in a chat room, please come and say hi. I'll be the one with the headphones on. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this week. I'll pop the link to um, the Sewing Weekender down because I'm sure you could still get a ticket if you wanted one. Um, and yes, it's been lovely to catch up. If you've liked what you've seen, please give me a thumbs up. Um, please consider subscribing if you'd like to do so. I think I'm at about 350 subscribers now. Um, yeah, so it's been lovely to chat to you and I hope to be back next week with um, a bit of a catch up. Hopefully I'll be able to do a makes video soon. So um, yeah, looking forward to talking to you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.